Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. Yes, uh, in my previous video, I have explained you uh, how to find the characters that are present in the event index position and to reverse them, right? So yes, uh, today it is just a vice versa of that, but I'm going to explain you how to reverse the event index position characters in the given string, which is just a very minor change. Yes, please do watch it carefully. So I've already written a uh, method or logic for that it is very simple and if you compare both the logics it is just one simple change and it would be really good if you know it yes in uh, how if uh, you want to find the event index position of a characters so you're performing a modulus that is if i modulus 2 is equals to 0 then of course the i will be even number and you're supposed to find the event index position character right so if i is not equal to 0 i mean if i modulus 2 is not equal to 0 then obviously it is going to be an odd index position right I mean or index position character so the one simple change or the minor change is just doing if i modulus 2 is not equal to 0 yes if it is not equal to 0 then it is, it is gonna be a odd index uh, value and you're supposed to print the odd index value um, character on the screen after printing it and you're supposed to reverse the odd index position character of a given string so I'll just take two minutes to implement this logic, which is very simple so that you will understand very perfectly. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking off everything except initialization and declaration of array. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to convert a string to an array to access the elements of a string. So I'm just taking a character array. I'm giving a name as a word, which is equals to a dot to char array. After converting it to an array, I'm just iterating a loop. Yes. Yes, after iterating the loop and just checking for the odd index position uh, of my string. So if i modulus 2 is not equal to 0, right? If it is not equal to 0, then please store that index position characters. So I'm just taking another character array. I'll give it as the result, which is equals to new character array. And it should have a half length of my original string why do we need just a half length because i don't want to waste the memory space which i've already told you in my previous video and i'm initializing a variable int k is equals to zero so that i can increment my array as well that is character array so i'm finally storing the odd index position characters into my resultant array that is character array yes so word of i and we will finally increment that k plus plus yes so after this this is the logic to find the odd index position characters so let me just note here so zero is gonna o is gonna be the odd index position f is gonna be the odd index position o f and s is gonna be odd index position and d yes so this will be the output for this first half and when we reverse we should get the output as uh, as d s f and o yes right so finally i'm iterating a for loop by the end of the index position so i'll just take this off and it should be greater than or equal to zero and i'm triggering to the last index position of the result dot length minus one yes and i'm finally printing this out yes and plus result of i and i'm just taking this ln save the program and run yes so you should get output as yes i again made the same mistake it should be i minus minus and i have told you why it should be um, i minus minus so D S F O. So I have told you this should be our output on the console. So what you see on the console is what we got. That is the requirement. So why did we give result dot length minus one? If you give result dot length minus one, it directly triggers the end of the array and it starts printing from uh, right to left. That is in the reverse order. Yes. From here to here, it is the logic to print the even index characters. Yes. O F S D. And you're supposed to reverse OFSD to DSFO, right? So this is a follow which we used to reverse. Yes. So I hope you people understood this. Uh, so if you didn't understood, please let, let me know in the comments. Yes. Please do share and subscribe if you did like. And thank you very much for watching.